guys, my name is Rachel Pereira. I'm one of the senior mammal keepers here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. And taking care of the animals here in the land of the tiger is one of my primary duties. Our Asian snowpot otter pups were born back in December on the 28th. They've been spending the last couple of months here on exhibit and they've been gaining all these skills and growing and doing all the different things, watching mom and dad and even their older sister, Scotter, um, to see those different skills that they would need if they were to survive out there in the wild. So these guys, we pretty much started at around three months old. They're currently five months old. So we've been doing uh, little introductions with our Babarusa pigs and the otters um, for the last couple of weeks. So our Babarusa pigs are actually an Asian species of pig. Um, they are native to areas such as Indonesia, and they do typically share habitat with our Asian small flood otters out in the wild. And our two that we have, um, Jeffrey and Ramona, so they are seven-year-old pigs, and we've had them for quite some time. They were able to uh, be introduced to mom and dad when it was just mom and dad. They were introduced to Scotter when she was born, and now they are being introduced to these four new pups for a total group of seven otters. So when we do want to do introductions between our otters and our babarusa, um, some different things that we do try to think about as we get those things started is we generally pull all of the species off exhibit. Um, the otters are out during the day currently, so we will pull them in, make sure they've had a nice decent meal so that they're not uh, having any kind of motivation to go after the pigs or steal any uh, food or treats or things like that. Um, we will let the pigs out by themselves first. Um, and we do let them get settled. And then we do give the otters access to come back out. Um, and these are all uh, keeper supervised interactions. We wanna make sure that our animals um, are comfortable and they feel safe in their environment. And sometimes it is a matter of letting animals work it out. Um, not all animals have instant uh, friendships. So sometimes it is something that we have to monitor and we have to um, kind of see where we need to intervene, if at all, because this is very new. Even though the pigs have seen the otters previously, they haven't ever seen so many otters at one time. Um, and for the otter pups, the four new otter pups, um, these are brand new large gray masses <laughs> that they don't quite understand what they are, what their purpose is, why they're now sharing their environment that the otters have had to themselves for several weeks now. Now they do have an older sister, Scotter, who we actually waited until about five months old um, to put her um, out with the pigs. And that's primarily because she was a singleton pup. Um, it was a first time pup for mom and dad. And then she was also a first for us, for our staff here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Garden. So the second time around, we were a lot more confident and even mom and dad were a lot more confident in letting the kids go, letting them experience um, the exhibit for themselves. So as these guys get older, um, definitely working with them and doing these introductions have been very exciting. Um, each experience is a new learning experience, not only for them and mom and dad, um, but also for the keeper staff. The really cool thing is that these guys are uh, a pretty uh, tight knit family group. So they generally stay together. Mom and dad are known as an alpha pair and they do, uh, over the years, continue to breed and have offspring. And the older offspring from previous litters will stick around and actually help raise the new offspring. So these guys can grow into a pretty big family group of anywhere from about 12 to 30 uh, individuals. So guests can view our Asian small clod otters every single day uh, here at the zoo. And we really thank you guys for following the Otter Pups journey um, this far, and we hope that you'll continue to do so. And please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for more stories around the zoo.